the price on the aluminum foil, I was like, what's really going on? Like, it was kind of pricey. That's what I told myself. Like, whatever comes naturally, do that. friends, I see like different. Real me I be kicking my pimp. All this sauce that I'm dripping, got a ticket for little. See the realest nigga walking when I'm looking in the mirror. Shout out to God, he blessing me. When you ain't around, she be texting me. Got blue tips. Church was canceled today, so I spent the time that I would normally be at church upstairs editing a long vlog for you all and youtube has this thing called checks basically where after you upload the video it kind of checks your music to see if it's going to be like monetized or if you're going to get like copyright claims so i had to remove like two different little parts while i'm waiting on everything to kind of like export upload all of that because it takes a little while i got about 35 minutes it says until completion I went to Target the other day, purposely left everything bagged up because I wanted to show it to you all. Me and this computer better be done at the same time. <laughs> because it's Sunday, I want to go outside, okay? I'm trying to go to the movies right now and maybe grab some cheesecake. If y'all watch my vlogs a lot, then you all see me in the same lounge clothes all of the time. If I don't plan on going anywhere or until I do plan on going somewhere, I have like my set like house clothes, outside clothes. I'm either going to be in a robe or like some chill kind of little set. So I was like, let me grab a few more new sets because they probably tired of seeing my little usual little fits, right? So this is one of my new little house sets. I got mine in the medium. It's $21.99 by Stars Above. It was near like the PJs but it wasn't giving pjs to me y'all will see this in an upcoming vlog where we're chilling around the house until we go outside and it does have the matching little orange shorts right here i like the little wavy detailing along the sides and then i like how the sleeves are kind of like a little bit long a new brow pencil i haven't tried this brand yet um but i needed a new one tanya crooks the arches and halos i got mine in espresso it says it was dermatologist tested hyperallergenic vegan cruelty free leaping bunny approved so we're going to test this out a lot of y'all have been asking for my updated makeup routine so i'll squeeze a few things in so hopefully it's a good shade you know how you have your perfume lotions but sometimes you just kind of want to throw on like a regular lotion when you get out of the shower um especially as a part of my nighttime routine i don't really put on my perfume lotions for that so kind of just like my everyday lotion i like to keep a large size whenever i run out then I get the chance to try a new one, even if I did like the other one, just to kind of see what's in the market. So this time I tried the, or I'm going to try the Nivea Skin Firming Hydration. I think in a previous vlog, I had showed you all what my lotion was that I ran out of. It was the Olay uh, Firming Lotion. So I don't know, I tend to just gravitate towards ones that say firming. So yeah, it says it's supposed to give you firmer skin in two weeks. I like to do like product empties or I'm trying to. <laughs> if y'all are interested in that, then that's something I try to incorporate. Okay, I like the consistency a little bit. It's like a clean little scent. My dress got like a big old sleeve on both sides. So you know, you have to make sure they glow. It's like there. Okay, I kinda like it. Okay, let's keep going. What I said, 35 minutes. And I ran out of the poop spray um, in my bathroom, so I did grab a new one. This one is a different scent. I got mine in Tropical Hibiscus. The way you use this before you do the number two, like you let the toilet open, spritz it in like two or three times, and then when you go, nobody will know what you was doing in there. So I like to spray this whether you're having company or not. It's just really good. Y'all should get this. Try it out. And they do have like a travel size one as well that I keep in my purse. More of the e.l.f. concealer. I love the e.l.f. concealers. I got a different shade this time. I got deep caramel. This is the 16 hour camo concealer. One bag down. I'm taking a trip in June. So I've been trying to gather up everything that I'm going to need so that I'm not last minute doing it. This is the optic free. Um, my eye doctor recommends the optic free. So that's always the one that I grab. Because ever since I started wearing contacts, this is what she told me to get. I haven't switched up since. And that was like years ago. Same one as the large one that I use, but just in the travel size. And the travel size one will come with the little case. So I won't have to take my case. Y'all know I love the Febreze Small Spaces. Every time I run out, it's my chance to try a new scent. So this time I got the Small Spaces in wood. I'm going to put one of these in my bathroom, one in the guest bathroom. And other spaces, I like to keep these just anywhere small, like my closet. I like cashews, so I grabbed some cashews as well. They did have like the mixed kind, but I like cashews, so I just be wanting all cashews. <laughs> this is like something that I would keep like in my little tray so that it's already in my room when I'm Netflix and chilling. So, Gushers. Um, I haven't been eating candy that much, but when you go to the store and you kind of hungry, you're going to grab some things. 
So I grabbed some Gushers. This is just the six pack. Another travel item to take with me, I just grabbed the Clorox to go pack. I think you get nine of these in here for like a dollar and some change. Two bags down. We're going quick, look at me. I also got, because I need to film me like refilling a few things in the laundry room. My jars are like large, so when it runs out, even if I like a certain fragrance or I like a certain uh, detergent, I like kind of want to try a different one sometimes. Not all the time, but this, honestly, the packaging. The packaging was cute. <laughs> so I got the Downy Infusions Bliss. This one is Sparkling Amber and Rose. Um, and it's an incense wash booster. I'm either going to do an Instagram reel or I may do some kind of like ASMR style on YouTube. Um, it's a hassle to film both. So whenever you start seeing Instagram reels, if it was easy to film the reel, then you may still see some vlog footage. But if you see the vlog, you're not going to see a reel too. I'm not going to spread myself thin trying to keep up. <laughs> That's what I told myself. Like whatever comes naturally, do that matching fabric conditioner in the same scent. A few more travel items that I grabbed. Crest mouthwash. It was between the Olay and the Dove. Both of them said three fluid ounces, but for whatever reason, this three fluid ounces looked larger to me, so customer problems. I grabbed the Olay body wash. Another bag. Yeah. Some aluminum foil because we were out. I got the Up and Up brand just to try it. The price on the aluminum foil, I was like, what's really going on? Like, it was kind of pricey. Anywho, I have a lot of different like remotes around the house that take triple A batteries, so I don't like to run out. Duracell triple A batteries. I have one of the elf sponges, like that kind of fuchsia color one, but I haven't tried the one that actually matches the concealer. The one that they recommend you try these two together, so I was like, let me just get it, just to get it. So this is the camo concealer sponge, best with our camo concealers, so I'll be using these together. Then just a few little snacks. When I do my bubble baths, I try to eat a little bit healthy. I consider my fridge and freezer empty if I open it and the things that are in it need to be prepped, they need to be cooked, you gotta unfreeze the meat, all of that. So I'll say like, I gotta go grocery shopping, my fridge is empty. <laughs> I like grab and go type of items. So I got the Del Monte, the diced peaches and I grabbed some of the mandarin oranges as well. Travel toothpaste, Colgate, Optic White. The Dove Advanced Care um, deodorant, just a little spray kind. I've been trying to like try the spray types of deodorants. I'm trying to see if I can get into them. Travel size take with me. Not travel size take with me. Wanted to grab a new little lip gloss. Honestly, y'all, a lot of this stuff I kind of needed, and then some of it was just like I'm in Target. I can't resist retail therapy. Why not? Of course, when you go to the beauty section, you just start like losing your mind. I lose my mind, like all of the cute stuff. Tell me if y'all noticed in Target, next time you're in there, look up at the lights. The lights in the beauty section is to really grasp you in. Like they got the lights where you can see everything. They make sure they got the like the overhead lights and then like the way the lights hit the items. Notice that in Target, or I don't even know if Walmart has it too, but just start observing the beauty aisle. Like they just do it to appeal to us to just really draw us in. It drew me in. It always does. It's cool. The Maybelline gloss. This is the lifter gloss. It's definitely giving me. It's kind of giving me Fenty Bomb. I'm going to do a separate B-roll to show it up close, but I was like, it looks like it. Now, they slick with the packaging because it don't look like you get a lot in here the way the tube looks kind of skinny. And then it doesn't, mmm. I like when glasses are like a little bit flavorful. <laughs> I like the packaging on this too. It's really cute. And then, of course, y'all know I always grab my jewelry. The A New Day brand at Target is like my favorite little brand. Sometimes different things of like costume jewelry, they can like make you itch or they just make the ears. You know how your ears really itch sometimes depending on the earrings you wear. You gotta just, it gets to the point where you're just like, okay, I'm gonna just take these out. Whenever I wear the A New Day products, I don't have that problem at all. So I got three of these anklets for $9.99. Really nice price. Can I beat that? I'll do B-roll to show it up close. Because obviously you wear earrings in both ears, so I like to wear anklets on both feet. <laughs> Some stuff be real life, okay. And of course, for Netflix and chill, I grabbed some of the overridden vodka popcorn movie theater. Although the popcorn that you put in the microwave, none of them actually taste like movie theater popcorn to me. None of the microwave ones give movie theater vibes. They just don't. I grabbed a few new bras and um, a robe. I always try to grab bras when I see them in my size. I get excited. I'm like, ooh, they got my size. Let me get it. And they didn't really have like any of the matching undies, but 
it's cool. Like the drawers were like super empty. I was like, oh my God. So this is the first one that I got. It's kind of lacy by the brand Auden. $17. Origin is Bangladesh. Okay. Push up, demi coverage, razor back. Razor back bra. Kind of buttoned this one along the front. I like the color on that one. I'm just such a girl, so. Cause I already have the uh, PJs that match this. When y'all had, a lot of y'all were DMing me like Target got new robes, Target got new PJs. So a couple of weeks ago, now what was that? Probably like last month sometime when I went, it was because y'all sent me in there. <laughs> so shout out to everybody that had DM me. But everybody was on these to the point where I didn't see my size available. So I double checked again since I was in a different location when I went. Um, and they had it in my size. So I got mine in the extra small and small. I tried it on while I was in the store and it fits perfect. They do have, like I said, the two-piece matching little PJ set to go with this. Um, it's just like a little slip, little tank top. And then, like, the cute little shorts with the elastic on it. I like cute PJs. Like, I like to just... When I get out of the shower, I'm either in a robe or, like, my usual lounge room until I go outside. So, got a new robe. I like t-shirt bras like this because you have to have the ones that are going to be super smooth underneath your clothing. Um, I got all of these in the same size that I wear. And this one says that it's the everyday, lightly lined, demi coverage, underwire bra. I like the little coffee type of caramel color on this one. Sometimes I see like lightly colored bras, but they're not really realistic. Like if you're wearing certain clothes that you wear, I don't like for the color of the bra to be seen underneath. So I kind of gravitate towards like darker colored bras if that makes sense because I don't want to be given like hot pink under a white t-shirt or nothing like that it's not really my thing which makes it difficult to shop for bras and to have different types so that you don't be that person who just got black bras I grabbed this plum colored one as well because I figured it was dark enough to not really reflect itself uh, underneath my clothing I like bras too that have the thicker back because I am still trying to like work out and get like reach my goals and all of that so that back bra fat yeah, if you get it, you get it. The girls that get it, get it, and I just be hating it. So whenever I see the ones that's got at least a little bit of a thicker part to the back to avoid bra fat, then I'll grab that one. It says the Bliss is a lightly lined wire free bra. So sometimes I get bras that do have the underwire. Sometimes I prefer the ones that kind of just don't. Like we need a break, okay? And that is everything. Oh no, it's not. I left the trash bags in there. I got the hefty trash bags 30 gallons and then i also grabbed the 10 pack of the capri suns from mr lincoln i like to keep those in the pantry for him i could not find these when it was actually winter and i needed them don't know why i never added it to my card on amazon but i saw these i know it's warm now but we still might like the fryer piece hershey's extendable cooking forks for you to do like your s'mores with you put your marshmallows on it i got three packs of these and you get two with each one so yeah just something fun to do when we're outside and that is everything that I got at Target. I'm about to run upstairs now and see if this video hopefully is ready so I can head out because the movie starts at 6.30 and it's like 5.09. And I gotta get schnicks. Comment down below if you made it to this part of the video and tell me what your go-to combo is when you go to the movies. I get a small popcorn, the chicken tenders with the fries, honey mustard for my dipping sauce and ketchup. And then I get like a large Sprite so that I don't have to go back. Okay, now here we go. Okay. Hey guys, I love Destiny. So I'm getting ready to take my shower, wash my hair. And I wear these on my arms when I work out because I'm trying to get them slimmer. I've been using them for a while now to say that I like them and I like what they've been doing for my arms. They're not all the way where I want them to be, but as far as something that's helping me with my workouts, I like to try it out first, see if I like it, then mention it. And I like these, so I'll link them down below for slimmer arms. That's what I'm trying to get. I'm gonna go to the movies at, I think I have to be there at 1.15. It's currently 11 o'clock. The only thing I didn't check off today was my two mile run, so I may do that later on tonight instead. We have been talking about the movies, but I'm that person, I try to just wait until that day comes to see if that's what it's going to be or not. The plans were made official today. I think we're gonna see two movies. I've already seen Sonic. I didn't vlog it. A few days ago, I actually saw What's it? What is it? Doctor Strange. I try to like have a balance of just enjoying myself sometimes. I think I mentioned that when I did the little Target haul. But yeah, I would give it like a seven and a half out of ten. I personally just felt like they kind of went with the first edit of the movie and could have tweaked it better. But they was like, ah, oh, just put it out anyways. Like it was all over the place to me. I, I couldn't really keep up. But anywho, my hair has been in those low ponytails for me to like throw wigs on top of it. In the shower, I'm going to use the Luster Silk Curl Enhancing Shampoo while I wash my body. I let this conditioner sit on my hair and I've been using this for a while. If you're not new here, 
like OG back to my relaxer days. This is what I used to use. I circled back to it. My natural hair loves it. I'm recording. I'm basically going to show you all how I style my hair so that I can just jump in the shower and kind of be quick. My routine is still the same, but every time y'all see my hair, my natural hair out on Instagram, y'all are like, show us your hair. Show us your routine. It's literally the same. Like, I haven't switched up. When I find products I like, I stick with them. That's what I suggest. <laughs> Although it does take a long time to kind of find products that your hair will like. Which is currently this brand, Luster Silk. This is Ray Ray here on YouTube. She mentioned those a lot and that's how I was like, let me try these out. Because she liked these products and her curls kind of look like mine. Let me try them out. Try them out and my hair loves it. And then in the comments, y'all be like, try this, try that, try this, try that. If my curls are already popping, I ain't trying to switch it up right now. <laughs> So boom, I'm at the shower, right? I'm telling y'all, the way I do my hair is like, it's just real quick. I take the Luster Silk Curl Activated Moisturizer. When you read the instructions, it tells you activate this within your hands. Don't be stingy. Just buy some more. They got plenty on the shelves. I work it into my hands. Nothing else is in my hair yet, straight out of the shower. But my hair, I try to get out really fast while my hair is still warm. Because my hair receives the products best in that kind of way. Then I subsection it to make sure I'm getting under there. And I really use my hands a lot while I'm doing my hair in a sense of detangling. So if you see me kind of like pulling out any strands, I kind of treat my hand as a comb at the same time. Like really pull it. Not being light with it. My sister Dominique, she told me that she was like, you got to really work with it. Like if you're being polite and just doing like this, you're not helping the curls to pop. So I really pull and pull and pull at my hair while also using my hand like a comb. Then, Wet Line Extreme, I'm currently using the blue one. My hair likes this, so I continue to give it what it likes. And I just work this in my hair, girl, just like this. My sister tells me to take small sections, but if I take a whole bunch on one section, then I'd be good. Now that I've worked the products in, that's when I begin to subsection my hair. I take this little tangle, tangle teaser right here. I saw Naturally Sunny review this. <laughs> she did like a sponsorship with them, so I added it to my part. Her hair ended up looking really good, so. And I brushed that through, just like that. And that is how I do my hair. Why the camera so dark, girl? So we just got out of the movie theater for seeing Sonic for the second time. Well, for my second time, and Boone and Lincoln's second time too. We're at uh, we're at Longhorn now. I got a new vlog camera, but I didn't open it yet because I was gonna take a vlog break. But I'm thinking about getting the Longhorn salmon. I shouldn't even say it out loud because y'all be so quick to correct me. But that's what I'm getting. <laughs> Brussels sprouts. I just had the chicken tenders and fries at the movie theater, but I'm still gonna get like. A large size meal so that I can at least snack on a little bit of it and have some kind of dinner to take home tonight. And that look good right here. Say it. I'm gonna cut that out and come on my house. How you say it? That was fun. I thought it was proper. I thought it was salmon. I thought it was salmon too. I went up my head to try. I just watched it this morning. Salmon. what I say? Salmon. It's salmon. 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 No, but I'm saying, was it back there? I don't want her to see the camera. Hold on, yeah. I know the smell of that. I have some Eddie's and then it's called Eddie's. Yeah, because I just smell the 
and we're gonna see the camera because we want to get them inside of here. Yeah, it smells like we're ready to hear. Hey, let's get out of here. 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 Let's get out Oh yeah, let me get one as well. Thank you. I thought we were gonna get out of here. We are. Look at y'all, man. Look at y'all, man. finished working out and I'm just going to document everything that I usually do when I finish my workout. I may talk to you all a little bit. I haven't really planned this out and I hope that you all enjoy it. So first thing I want to do is kind of tidy up my space a little bit. A few things that I kind of left out of place. I put my contacts in even though I'm in my garage when I work out just so that I can kind of see like who walking by, what y'all doing, how fast y'all jogging. went out on me. these down below I got them from Amazon I wear them on my arms when I work out they're supposed to help make your arms kind of slim um they look a diff a little bit different from the way they used to look so I had them for about two weeks now so I've probably used them maybe like nine times <laughs> I like them a lot what's up destiny here hello hi so I like to use my exfoliation gloves in the shower at least three times a week in combination with my Dow soap. If you've seen my feminine hygiene routines, then you already know. I massage this all over the body. She still ain't got her shower replaced. Mind your business. <laughs> and then I go ahead and rinse that off. Now listen, come closer, come closer. I'm about to put the girls on real quick. This is the Dove pre-cleanse shower butter. Y'all, this stuff have your skin feeling so soft, so smooth. I know you lying. <laughs> Five second rule, I should have grabbed it. <laughs> I normally start with that one first, right? But I forgot, so I'm doing it second. Massage this all over as well. You don't have to do it with the exfoliation gloves, but if you do, skin gonna be so soft, so silky smooth. Talk to me nice. Cause we like butter over here, like smooth. And then I went ahead and just followed up with the degree. This is like a, I use this one basically after my workouts when I feel like my muscles are sore, it's like a muscle recovery. So I went ahead and finished my shower. I like to squeegee that down with the glass cleaner every single time. Now let me put you on before you pat dry. Put on your body oil, mine is by Dr. Tills, and then pat dry. Maybe you shouldn't wear your silkies robe afterwards, but girl, the skin gonna be so smooth. Thank you later. That's the only thing I hate, like, the oil gets everywhere. Or sometimes I actually wash my face in the shower, but for the sake of the video and me trying to get a good little angle for y'all, um, 
and push these back. I'm currently out of the facial cleansers that I normally use, but if you all saw the video where I got the uh, Lancome, the perfume, and the body lotion, these two right here, then I had got like a whole bunch of like um, free little gifts that came with it. So I'm actually waiting on my new cleanser from Amazon to come. Next day delivery, I added them to my cart yesterday. They're gonna arrive today. So for now, I'm using the Lancome. It's a makeup remover, but this is the current one that I have. And it has kind of like this orange citrus kind of scent to it. It's not overpowering um, to me at all, but that's the fragrance of it. Grab a little paper towel and I pat my face dry. Most times, if I can, see how wet I'm getting? Not the battery blinking. I heard the battery life on these was trash. Okay, I'm just gonna shut up and what's over Destiny is gonna do the rest for as long as this battery stays on. <laughs> that I take any of my daytime moisturizers I'm using the last of my won the new hot pink bag on Instagram live a few moments ago and I told y'all if y'all found any to kind of just tweet it to me and let me know so one of y'all sent me this one. I'm gonna have to give her a shout out and screenshot it and put it on screen. Um, but I added it to my cart. I'm finna hurry up and get it because literally all of their stuff is like sold out. I don't even know how you say it. Telfar? Is that how you say it? Telfar? Telfar? It's black on. <laughs> That's what she tweeted and told me. So I am about to get it. I'm about to check out real quick before it's like gone gone. You qualify for free shipping. I'm going to enter all of my little boring information. And when it comes, I'll film it and unbox it for you all. I'm about to snatch it up because I'm trying to step up my bag game. And I just want more bright colored bags. Not bright, just colors in general, period. Like, I like I want some neutrals, colored stuff, some stuff I can carry with everything. Some stuff that's like a statement. Pop of color if I wear like all white or all black. And then the purse is what stands out. It matches the shoes, that kind of thing. So I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to finish my editing and I'll talk to you all later. Okay, so I'm sitting here at my desk currently editing and I want to go ahead and conclude the vlog. I know it was kind of all over the place. I wanted to put together just a few days, like three different days worth of footage that I had. This is the same day from the footage of me filming myself having my shower this morning. After the battery died, um, I went ahead and just kind of finished up my hair and I drank the Naked Juice uh, protein smoothie I usually drink that when I come straight up here to my desk to uh, basically start my day so that's the only thing that you all missed and then I put on the a new moisturizer by Avon I was telling you all that I was about to finish up the last of that one so it's almost like a product uh, empties now sit here now and done my editing to where it is currently a little bit after three o'clock so I'm about to just add this little clip in and export it for you all I wanted to kind of give a different vibe because I hate when I kind of scroll through my videos and it's like vlog after vlog after vlog. Thank you to everyone who's like sending me different things to check out on Twitter. Because I'm trying to get y'all ask me on live like are you looking to purchase anything new da da da. And I told you all that I have been browsing like shoes and purses. And I'm just such an indecisive person that it takes me a while to pick out what I want. Not only that but I try to make sure that I like the item and that it's not something that's trending that I think I should have because other YouTubers have it, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I'm going to get this out because I told y'all like 4 o'clock. So, I'm about to hurry up and try to get it out. It might be like 5, maybe 6, maybe. So, yeah, I will talk to you all in the next video. I threw this on so that I could do the little try-on portion. But y'all going to see me in this a lot. I feel like I could go outside in this. I'm going to check and see if Target got different colors because I'm about to snatch them up. Like, this is very much giving like... I can wear this inside and outside. <laughs> so don't judge me if y'all see me in it again because new house clothes, period. Bye y'all. Talk to you all in the next one. Definitely check out some more videos on my channel. And if you made it this far, 
don't forget to subscribe because it's absolutely free. Sipping on hand, I'm eating on rice, and I ain't going for nothing for nothing. Hoes didn't know what's up with a nigga. How about that machine? Make her want the cuff a nigga. Edward.